Hi, my name's Craig. I'm the technical manager here at QNAP UK. And today we're just going to do a quick video on the XFAT driver that we have available in our software store. Um, it is a very low cost license. It's only $3.99. Um, it's a perpetual license as well. Um, I have a demo version on my NAS, so when you see uh, the, the version on my NAS, it will have an expiry date. Uh, but if it's purchased, it won't have an expiry date. It is definitely perpetual, not a subscription based license. Um, XFAT is a great file system. It's introduced by Microsoft, I think, back in about 2005, 2006. Um, it's a very good cross-platform file system uh, because if you're using Windows or a Mac um, or even the NAS, for example, any drives that you might uh, have that are transient between these devices, so let's say you wanted to do a, a direct transfer rather than across the network of a file, you could put it on a USB flash or a USB drive on your computer, um, and you could go transfer it um, to the NAS and uh, import the data that way. Um, so to get the XFAT driver, it's not completely free simply because Microsoft has created um, licensing for it. It is a very nominal license fee, it is very low cost, so if you do want it, it is a very easy decision to go for it. Um, but we haven't built it into the NAS OS and built it into the cost, because not everybody wants to use it, and it would effectively put the price of every NAS we have up by about $4. Um, so what we've done here is, on this unit here, I'm using the TVS-H1288X. I've already got the license installed. Um, as I said, the valid until will not apply uh, for anybody that's bought this license. It is a perpetual license for everybody not using a demo version like uh, the staff members here. Um, so this is now installed on the machine, and that's literally all you have to do. You have to purchase the license, then you activate it. Once it's done, you're finished. You've now got the capabilities to use XFAT within the NAS. Uh, so one thing I do want to show you is, so if you're on a Mac, for example, so here I've got a fairly small um, uh, USB uh, device connected here. So what you can do is you can right click on it, you can um, erase or format this um, USB drive if you want to. So you can go down here to erase, it would be the same on Windows. And you can choose to have the XFAT file system. So you can erase that and use it. Once you've got it converted, uh, you can copy data to it and use it. So this is nothing to do with the QNET license. This is just the disk utility built into my Mac. Um, the Mac OS does come with the XFAT license built in as standard. Um, but when it's over on the QNAP, when you put a drive in that's got the XFAT license on it, uh, the XFAT storage, it means you can then read it. Uh, so here I've got a 32 gig SanDisk uh, USB flash uh, plugged into the front USB port uh, of my TVS H1288X. So what I have here is I have options. So if it's on EXT4, that's primarily a Linux file system. So it's great if you're moving data from one QNAP to another QNAP, let's say, or from a QNAP to a, a Linux-based computer, no problem. But if you want the cross-platform compatibility, you can come here and format the drive. And we've got a lot of file system choices you can use. So the, the QNAP will work with a lot. Um, the XFAT option at the bottom will only appear if you have the license installed. So there's nothing else to do to add it. You simply just add the license and you'll get this option. So if I was to choose the XFAT option, you can choose to do encryption, label it, whatever you want. Um, it's going to remove all data converting the file system. You can't keep the data intact when converting it. Um, but this is going to allow me to have this uh, USB um, flash drive that I've got connected in the XFAT format. So I could copy any data uh, to this uh, USB drive. So here we see that it now says XFAT, the format is complete. Uh, so now if I was to unplug that from my NAS and go plug it into my Mac, my Mac would be able to read it. If it was on EXT4, um, uh, the Mac wouldn't read it, Windows wouldn't be able to read it without some extra software to make it work. Um, so if we were to go down to File Station, what we will see is we'll see an extra option here. So when we come down, we see the SanDisk 32 gig, which was the label I gave the drive. So anything I put in here is going to go onto that uh, SanDisk USB flash. Uh, once I've uh, put the data on it, I can come up to the top menu up here where you've got the connected external devices, and I can safely eject the drive if I wish um, so that I can unplug it and uh, bring it over to my computer to transfer some data uh, you know, USB 3 can be um, a lot faster than, say, 1 gig Ethernet. So if you wanted to transfer a lot of data a bit faster, uh, USB 3 running at 5 gig a second, uh, perhaps you've got a more modern option that's got the 10 gig a second USB 3.2 Gen 2, um, it would be much faster to move data using that type of method. Um, but this is the uh, the XFAT license. Um, as I say, it's only uh, 3 dollars in US dollars, uh, so you can get it, and it is a perpetual license. Uh, once you've added it to your um, QID, your QNAP ID account, uh, you simply just have to go into the license center on the QNAP, 
And when you click on activate license here at the top, it will show you a list of all the licenses that you have. So if you click select licenses, uh, you've got a lot of licenses that you can pick here. You can select which one you want, and then it will add it uh, to that specific QNAP. Um, so you can get a lot of different options there, and all the different licenses would appear in this list here. So if anybody wanted to, uh, to add it or any other options, you've got them all here in this list as well. Okay, if anybody does have any questions, please do let us know. If you've got suggestions for other videos, also let us know. We'll, uh, we'll have a look at those and, and see if they're a good idea to make it into a video for the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.